It was on 23rd August 2023, Chandrayaan-3 made the historic landing on the moon, creating a never-before event in the history of the space program of this nation. In ISRO, we never imagined the impact that it's going to create out of this accomplishment. And it is when Honorable Prime Minister of India visited us in the control center after a few days, and he made the announcement of 23rd August to be the National Space Day, and also declared the landing site of Chandrayaan-3 as the Shiva Shakti point. This year, the National Space Day is being celebrated all across the length and breadth of this country with the participation of departments, ministries, uh, educational institutions, science organizations, NGOs, general public, and there is a lot of energy and enthusiasm that is visible. Today we have culminating the entire celebration uh, with the presence of our Honorable President of India on the National Space Day, the very first National Space Day, celebrating the inspirational journey that we had in the Chandrayaan-3, and also to envision the future course of action that we need to take in the space sector, especially the journey in the Amritkal. And I wish to thank the Honorable Prime Minister of India for the motivation, the vision that he has given to all of us for creating the next space vision for our country. Today we have the fortune to have our Honorable President Draupadi Mumuji with us to inaugurate the Maiden National Space Day. I remember she has taken keen interest in the space activities and also invited me to the Rashtrapati Bhavan once to start a talk program in the Rashtrapati Bhavan the very first time. Thank you so much, ma'am. <clears throat> and also for your gracious presence in the Rashtriya Vijnan Puraskar, yesterday we had the award from her for the team Chandrayaan-3. And I wish to thank for her kind gesture to be with us, to be visiting our stalls, and to be among all of you during this inaugural function of the National Space Day. Thank you, ma'am, once again.